Ya, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh And good day to everybody So today guys uh, What we going to do Is I'm going to take you on board And show you How to use Echo Sounder So how are we going to do that I'm going to call my friend and ask him to assist us okay this will be done through online and he will show how to use echo sounder on board his ship All right. okay good morning assalamualaikum this is the navigational echo sounder most of the ship will use this um, uh, on board the ship to get the trough on the waters that we are sailing into and I will show you how to operate this equipment we have the switch on button here we have a few buttons on the screen I mean on the display so it's a very simple um, equipment to operate actually so you just press the switch on button uh, we wait for it to load and um, for the requirement, as a, per IMO standard, it has to give you uh, 2 meters up to 200 meters. And uh, there's a few other things that you have to know also. Okay, on the display here, uh, when it starts, it will make a self-test and it will check like the room and the RAM. When you see this all uh, written okay, and if it's not okay, it will show you NG no good meaning no good so there's something wrong with your uh, echo sounder for now all is good so you can press any key to continue all right so this is the display here on the echo sounder you can see the time and date in UTC the course of the ground speed of ground and also the position of your ship this equipment is also connected to the GPS so I'll go to the menu now. I'll show you how to select, how to set the echo sounder. So in the menu, you can see there's a day and night mode. You can choose your depth alarm. Now we choose one meter as we are in port. The company UKC policy is 0 0.4 when you are at birth. So this is the minimum that we can select on our echo sounder. So we choose one meter. So throughout the voyage, you have to go and select as per your company policy, the depth alarm. You will sound an alarm. One of the requirement of the Echo Sounder, they have this equipment must give an alarm to uh, inform the navigational officers if uh, it will give a predetermined alarm before you go in a shallow water area. So you go to sounder, you can select the depth sounder what you want to check uh, I mean what you want to use that below kill or below transducer or on the surface so usually we will just select below kill and you go to the um, system I mean the echo sounder system here for changing the draft and you can change the gain and all that so we already got the information from chief officer what is the departure draft and we have select we can select what draft here so to select the draft press enter then you can just use the brilliance button to increase or decrease your settings inside the echo sounder so the information that we got from our chief officer is 4.7 so we select 4.7 and press enter okay now we go back to the display so you have to select the correct range so that the echo sounder will give you the depth you can see depth here 10.7 you can see the small part down there if you go closer you can see this is the draft of the ship so the depth now is 10.7 you have to select it pro properly if not it will not give you uh, the most accurate depth from the sonar that you're sending to this equipment okay um, to select the range now we are send, uh, we are using range number three if you increase the you decrease the range you see you won't 
be receiving any data so you have to select the proper range you have to check on your chart or your act this the depth of the area that you are going or passing through so when you select the lower range where the depth is actually higher it will not give you any data here so you have to increase the range then only you get the data all right that's about it thank you so much and uh yeah there's one more thing there's a printer attached to it also so on this printer there's a mode that you can switch it on there's a power on on the inside of the equipment this is the printer which is connected to this echo sounder so you can switch on the printer there's a mark button there's the interval of how um, the interval of the printer to print out your depth as, um, now we choose every 10 minutes for it to print your depth and that's about it thank you so much okay thank you Chi officer El Shafi uh, for showing us how to use echo sounder so important note what you saw was the very sophisticated maybe the latest uh, type of echo sounder because the previous in previous video we were talking about the old type of echo sounder which is still using stylus manual marking on the paper chart uh, what uh, Chi officer has shown us just now is the latest uh, technology maybe maybe the latest okay uh, giving us electronic display uh, there is no paper chart anymore but they still need to print the draft that one is for uh, documentation just now uh, Chief Officer has shown us that we can choose either to get the display of UKC or surface depth okay so if you choose to use surface depth then you need to add the ship's draft that's why input of ship's draft is important because uh, ship draft plus you can see equal to the depth all right and then you can use that depth and compare with the charted depth on the chart to see whether your equipment is giving correct depth or not provided you know what is the height of tide at that particular time okay guys see you next time maybe next time we're going to talk about how Echo Sounder can produce error on the display. Alright, till next time.